Coming up on the Memphis Sports Zones inside the high school game, it was a battle of the early season undefeated as Houston played host to ECS. Plus, our fan vote game of the week took us to Cordova where the Wolves looked hungry against Lausanne. Elsewhere, a defensive dogfight between White Station and Christian Brothers and our primetime performer of the week. My name is Craig Cunningham, and I am primetime performer of the week. This and more next on the Memphis Sports Zones inside the high school game. Hey, we're going to win the games because we're going we gonna to work hard than everybody else, and we're going to do everything right for full court. Inside the High School Game brought to you by Reeves Law Firm. Let us be your voice. And by Uncle Lou's Fried Chicken. If the Colonel had his recipe, he would have been a general. Now, let's get inside the High School Game. Welcome into another Sunday of Inside the High School Game. Brian Eccles inside the Sports Zone Studio to bring you another exciting week of local high school action. We begin with a marquee matchup. ECS taking on Houston, the battle of two undefeated teams. Before we go to the highlights, let's go inside the High School Game. Find out what both teams had to say about the matchup. I mean, it's an unbelievable opportunity. Um, it's a big 6A school, big 6A, I mean, private school. So, I mean, obviously, we looked at as the little dogs. Um, very excited. It's, it's going to be a great measuring stick for us. Uh, I, think, I think we're going to have a pack stands both sides. I think we're going to have people standing and watching. I think it's going to be great. The atmosphere, just like Lincoln Perry knew it would be, both fan bases lit up for this one. And when it started, the ECS running game came out on fire. First possession, the Eagles one-two punch at running back, bringing the act show Matthew McMeans on a first down carry and more. Then Jalen Greenwood handles a rest barely a few minutes in, and ECS trying to send an early message. <laughs> Eagles led 7-0, but on the ensuing possession for the Mustangs, Houston and Lincoln Perry with a message of their own. Look out. He had four words for ECS. Holla at your boy. Perry breaking off a sensational 95-yard scamper at the Houston sideline going crazy. The big time run by Perry, not the last of the big plays in the first half of this one. Still in the first quarter, can't turn the ball over in any game, especially in a big one. ECS couldn't handle the exchange, and Houston coming up with the recovery. The Mustangs offense went right back to work. This time it's Ethan Burns in the passing game on a great play design. Burns finds a man wide open and it's Mustangs first and goal. And of course, everybody in the stadium knew the next play call. Lincoln Perry's second touchdown of the game. Houston would miss his second extra point. They led 12-7 to the second quarter. ECS break it out their pass again. Jacob Hatcher to Preston Daniel and the Eagles reclaim the lead. When it came to big plays, the Mustangs just had too many burns to Grayson hit. Young man showing he's legit. <laughs> Houston winners of the Battle of the Unbeatens, 36-20, the final. All right, here's a look at the brand new Great 8 Power Pole. Houston moving to the number one spot with another quality win. They take over as Whitehaven fell in a close game on the road to defending private school champ Brentwood Academy. Briarcrest had another good win, avenging the playoff loss to NBA. MUS steady at four. Covington moves to five as they continue to roll. We move Kirby to six. Big game coming up for them as they take on rival Southwind in what could be an early region decider. We dropped fairly two spots to seven. They lost to a 6A opponent out Mississippi won't penalize them much for that. They're still the team to beat in 2A region play. They got a big one coming up against rival Mitchell. And at 8, we dropped ECS just outside. Had a great effort against Houston. Instead, we insert a team that hasn't given up a point all season. The region team to beat in 1A. The Freedom Prep Eagles are in. For those who always ask, being dominant against teams on your level is a great component to the Great 8 Power Pole. Freedom Prep has certainly done that so far. All right, so there's a look at your brand new Grade 8 Power Pole heading into Week 5. Our Game of the Week highlights are coming up. But first, let's take a look back at Week 3's Primetime Performer of the Week. In his first season as a starting running back for Lausanne, Craig Cunningham had his breakout game last Friday night. 
my coach always say have my head up, feet ready. So I have my head up and feet ready, get ready to make a move, and then from there, touchdown. The late sophomore rushed for 269 yards on 29 carries, earning him the fan vote for primetime performer of the week. He got a lot of touches last year because there were, you know, a lot of our games where, you know, Eric didn't even play in the second half. So Craig got a lot of playing time last year at the varsity level as a ninth grader. And we always thought his skill set was, was, was really nice and thought he had a chance to be a, a pretty darn good running back. And I think last week he showed some of the things that he can do. You know, he's still young. He's just a 10th grader. He's still got a lot of work to do to continue to improve. But we kind of like where he's at right now, and we feel good about putting the ball in his hands. Well, first I want to thank my linemen. My linemen, they opened up the holes for me. So all I had to do was run and just do what I had to do. All right, congrats to Craig again for winning the primetime performer for week number three. In week four, his links took on Cordova and our fan vote game of the week. Let's go inside the huddle with both coaches, find out what they have to say about this game. I think it's going to be a hard-fought game on both sides. They, you know, they're very well coached. They're going to be disciplined. They're, they're big. They're physical up front. Uh, they got two really good running backs. Quarterback makes good decisions. They got two really good wide receivers. We definitely have our hands full. They were rocking in Cordova for our Reeves Law Firm Friday Night Football Game of the Week. Lausanne making a trip over to take on the Wolves third quarter. Wolfpack all business. Coming off that loss to Sal Panola, Cameron Wimberly says don't sleep on the quarterback keep and don't sleep on the second effort either. What a play from Wimberly. Cordova big 27-3. On the ensuing kickoff, Lausanne not going away just yet. The good return from Antonio Dilworth gave the Lynx great field position. Then our primetime performer of the week for week three, Craig Cunningham getting involved, breaking off a nice run, getting the links a little bit closer down to the Cordova 10-yard line. And that will set up this same possession. Kyle Lowe finds Nick Floyd, and Nick Floyd finds just enough of the end zone. That's a touchdown. <laughs> links with a much-needed answer, but just when they gained some momentum, Cordova snatched it right back. His suing kickoff for the Wolves, Arion Page, is gone. Wolfpack running away with a Reeves Law Firm game of the week. 41-22, the final. Hey, you've been off all day. I got a notice from the bank yesterday. I'm gonna lose the house. I was in that same position a few years ago. All I did was call the Reeves Law Firm and they handled the rest. Reeves Law Firm, let us be your voice.